Today's video is a bit of a first for me in that I'm going to be taking a look at a new platform that aims to bring the online racing environment across multiple sims into one place, while also offering tools for race organisers, leagues, teams and sponsors, and of course drivers to better work together. If that sounds like a lot of things to pack into an opening statement, it's because, well, it is. And that's what makes simracing.gp a really interesting prospect. Hello fellow sim racers. You might very well be wondering why I'm making a preview video for a web platform. Well, first of all, I genuinely believe that this is going to offer something really exciting and valuable for the sim racing community. And secondly, it's been created by my friends at Race Department in partnership with the US-based technology firm called Nason. The goal is to try and create a platform that brings together a community that's traditionally self-organized in small, discrete bubbles, and in doing so, creating a more interconnected online racing scene across the various sims, organizations, teams, and drivers. There's quite a lot to unpack in that statement, so I'm going to try and explain how it all works from the perspective of each of the user groups. But first, a quick overview of some of the most important features. Simracing.gp will be able to schedule and automatically launch a dedicated server on most PC racing sims as a one-off race or as part of a league, club or championship series. The platform will gather statistics and rankings from those races and publish them publicly if desired or keep them private as well. Race organizers will be able to manage their races and seasons through a simple GUI and publicize them through the platform directly to their members and or other drivers. The drivers themselves also generate a profile based on their race statistics and are rewarded for race participation and good on-track behavior. And this ties in with a planned in-platform economy. Finally, drivers, teams, clubs and tournaments will be able to set up their own pages within the platform as well. At present, the preview version of the platform that I've been given access to only supports Assetto Corsa, but the development roadmap will bring ACC, AMS2, Project Cars2, RF2 and Raceroom into the mix as well. In my opinion, the most powerful tools that simracing.gp brings to the table relate to the organization of scheduled online races, whether they're championships, regular club meets or one-off events. The web interface provides a GUI that makes the process of setting up and scheduling races much simpler than in most racing sims at present, and it automates some of the more time-consuming stuff like championship standings, rankings and the like. On top of that, the servers are run by simracing.gp, meaning no more dedicated server fees for race organizers. Whichever way you look at it, reducing barriers to entry for race hosting can only be a good thing for the community. As an influencer, this is particularly interesting. Setting up a one-off event can be fire and forget rather than the much more hands-on approach it takes right now. Simracing.gp will offer tools to make it much simpler to find like-minded racers in clubs, leagues, teams, and race series. But perhaps more interesting for the casual racer is the ability to see what races are coming up at a glance across any of the sims. And of course, you can register in advance for races that are a little bit further into the future. And as I mentioned earlier, detailed statistics are collected from events that a driver has participated in across all of the sims. This generates a profile and a rating. The platform rewards race participation and good behavior. The platform also caters for sponsors, providing them with data-driven opportunities for collaboration with clubs, teams, and drivers. And on top of this, simracing.gp plan to organize brand challenge events that will allow drivers to participate in races in order to qualify for rewards from the sponsor, for example, a discount code. A platform like simracing.gp takes resources to put together, so you're probably wondering how much this is all gonna cost. And for most users, the answer's nothing. The platform uses a freemium model, which means that users can participate for free, but those wanting to unlock more functionality can do so by buying premium membership. This will probably be of most interest to teams, clubs, and influencers that want more powerful tools to promote their activities. So that brings us to the big question. When does simracing.gp launch? As it stands, the platform's still in a private beta stage, but details of the public beta will be made available shortly. Additional racing sims and other features will be rolled out throughout the beta program as is pretty much the norm with this kind of thing these days. 
So guys, I hope this was interesting for you, but also that this brief look at some of what simracing.gp is trying to achieve will spark some ideas in the community about how we can all make use of these tools. So then, all that's left to say is goodbye, thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.